Hey guys, Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, I'm going to be doing another rat foraging toy review. And these foraging toys in particular are from the small business called Hotel Rat, and they are located in Australia, uh, and they were nice enough to send these over. They do ship worldwide, and they have some really cool foraging toys, which are all 3D printed, as you can see here. Now, before I go on, I do want to mention that I will have their website linked down below uh, if you're interested in checking them out. So these are the three base toys that they have. They do also have one in the works right now, uh, which is going to be pretty different. Um, but as far as these three go, they're all really cool. And oh my God, hey, give me, we haven't discussed that yet. Blueberry, give me a second. Uh, okay, anyways, like I said, these three are their base models of foraging toys. They come in three different colors. They have this black, uh, this olive green, and this tan color. And you can choose any two variations for the different foraging toys. So I chose uh, green and black for this one, green and black for this one, and then black and tan for this one. Now each of these foraging toys is really cool in a different way. And they're all designed for specifically kind of different levels of foraging and also designed in a way that makes it possible to make them easier or harder depending on your rat's foraging level. So I'm going to just quickly show you the three different foraging toys and of course allow the rats to eat from them because I put a lot of yummy stuff in them. Uh, but this one here is what they recommend for people starting out with their rats uh, foraging for the first time. And I think they call it the four way slider. And as you can see here, these pieces all move back and forth and the rats can access different holes. These little holes can have a lot of food put in them. They're actually pretty deep uh, and they're very nice and wide. So the rats can stick their nose in there. They can stick their paws in there. It's not difficult for them to get to the food itself. And the sliders are made so that they're pretty easy to move back and forth. And this way your rats just kind of get used to the idea of foraging and they have very easy access to all of the holes. Now, one thing you can do to make it harder, however, is you'll notice that on each side here, there is a little gap. And that's because you can actually hang this up in the cage they actually include some of these little hanging clips. And if you hang this on the cage wall like this, then your rats will have to work harder to slide these around in order to get to the food. It definitely makes it a little bit harder for your rats to get to the food because sliding has to be more deliberate in that case. Now you will also notice that each of these little pieces has some holes in it. Uh, these are to allow your rats to sniff the food underneath. So I think that's a really nice design choice and it definitely seems like it's gotten my rats more intrigued with this foraging toy. Even the dwarf rats who were a little bit skeptical at first. So I'm pretty happy to see these little holes on each of the toys. Anyways, this is their first one that they recommend again to beginner foragers. Now moving on from the four-way slider, you have the one-way slider, and this is kind of a step up from the four-way one. As you can see here, the slider part on top smoothly rotates, so the rats can only really access one or two holes at the same time. Uh, and just like the other one, you'll notice that this one has little sniffing holes for the rats to kind of discover the treats inside. And it also has some really nice deep holes, which you can put lots of treats in or lots of just normal food. It just depends what you want to put in there. On top of that, just like the other one, you have little holes that you can hang the foraging toy on the wall for in order for the rats to have a little bit more difficulty getting to the treats inside. And just in general, just like the other one, it's a really cool foraging toy. Uh, the rats don't have any problem pushing this around. It's very light. Even the dwarfs can do it pretty easily. And it's just a lot of fun for them to maneuver around. I think this is definitely a good step up because the rats have to be a little bit more deliberate with how they push around the ring, uh, but it's still pretty easy for them to get to the treats inside and they can figure it out pretty quickly. And then after that, again, you can hang it on the wall to make it more difficult. So that's just really nice because a lot of foraging toys don't have this sort of difficulty option. So I always like seeing foraging toys that go above and beyond and kind of give you a few different ways to give it to your rats and a few different ways for your rats to interact with them. Anyways, moving on to the third foraging toy, that is this one right here. And this one is really cool because of a few different things. Uh, first of all, you have the doors. As you can see, this side has a little gap in it and this side does not. That means that your rats have different difficulty depending on what side they approach. So first of all, they're probably gonna go for this one just because it's easier. And then after a while, they will start going for this one as well as they learn to sort of lift the lid. Now, the nice thing about this one is if your rats are a little wary when you first present it, you can just take the lid and put it up like that so they have easy access to the food inside. And the nice thing about that is that it allows your rats to just get to the food without the lid falling on them. So they don't have any sort of negative experience with it, which means they adjust to it quicker and they learn to use it much quicker than other sorts of foraging toys with this sort of style. Now, the other nice thing about this foraging toy is it can be used both as a ground toy and as a hanging toy, which is similar to the other ones. However, if you've ever had other sorts of designs of this foraging toy, which I have had kind of similar designs made with PVC pipes, uh, the main 
problem with those is they can only hang, which kind of limits your options. This one, on the other hand, can be put on the ground, which allows your rats to kind of investigate and learn it. And then you can hang it up and they will already know kind of how to get into it. But they have the added difficulty of it hanging and moving around, which just makes it a little bit more difficult to get inside. Uh, so in general, this is a really cool foraging toy, and this is probably my favorite out of all of them. Uh, they really like the other ones as well, but I'm going to be putting them all in the cage. Uh, so we'll see which ones they empty first. I'm not sure which it's going to be. Anyways, alongside those foraging toys, we also have these little metal pieces, which are all made to hang up the foraging toys in the cage. Uh, on top of that, they sent me this little cork, which is a little chew toy for the rats. As you can see, the rats already started chewing it. Uh, I actually had to rescue it from Toast at the beginning of this video because she stole it and chewed it all up and blueberry also tried to steal this so cork is always a big hit with my rat so it was pretty nice of them to include this as well and this is a little cup i'm not sure if it specifically has a purpose uh, but it does hold these things pretty well so that's what i've been using it for so yeah these are really neat forging toys and i think hotel rats did a great job designing them uh, again like i said all their toys are 3d printed and one neat thing is that you can actually purchase the designs for each of these forging toys for just five dollars on their website so if you have your own 3d printer or if you have access to a 3d printer you can actually make these yourself which i think is really neat anyways other than that i'm just really pleased with all these forging toys and my rats clearly have been really enjoying them so if you like what you see you know go ahead and check them out. Again, they are called Hotel Rats and I will have their website linked in the description and comments. The final thing I wanted to mention about Hotel Rats before ending this video is that all of their packaging is recyclable and most of it can also be used for your rats to just play with. So this in particular is some paper, uh, kind of crinkled paper. And as some of you might know, I use this in my rats dig box. So they really love this sort of stuff and it's great for them to nest with. They love to chew it up and drag it around. So this is a really nice thing to see included. They also have this little card here. This is also made of cardboard so the rats can chew this up. And then you finally have their little box here. As you can see, it has a little hole right here, just like some of those boxes that come with like cat toys. And this is to encourage you to cut out a little door right here and use this little box as a house for your rats. So yeah, all their packaging is great for your rats. You can have them chew it up and they'll really enjoy that. Their foraging toys are also awesome. So I'd say it's definitely worth checking out if you are someone who is interested in these sorts of foraging toys. Uh, they're great for rats. They'd probably work for other small pets too, but I think rats in particular really thrive with this sort of mental enrichment. So, you know, go ahead and check them out if these interest you. Uh, like I said before, I will have their website linked in the description. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I hope you have a great day. Bye.